welcome to my channel. This is Take a Breath with Alexis and I'm Alexis. In today's video, we will be doing a get ready with me pulmonary hypertension edition. So, I love makeup and I also want to raise awareness about pulmonary hypertension. So I decided to combine the two and creating a makeup look based around the color that represents pulmonary hypertension. The color that represents pulmonary hypertension is periwinkle. So with this makeup look, I am gonna try to get as close to periwinkle as I can. So let's go. So I've already washed my face, moisturizer, sunscreen, yes, wear sunscreen. And so the next step is getting my face ready for foundation. Now this hack, I learned on TikTok actually, and let me tell you, it has changed the way that I put my foundation on. Yes, it involves more steps, but trust me when I say, after you do this, not only does your makeup stay on better, but you look airbrushed throughout the day. I don't have to retouch my face. It's totally worth it. The first thing you do is you take your translucent setting powder. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D, Kat Von D, um, Locket setting powder in the shade translucent. You're gonna go ahead and like I said, I already have moisturizer and everything on and you're just gonna lightly dust that all over your face. Then you're gonna take your setting spray and spray your face. Trust the process. I know it sounds weird. I know it feels like a lot, but trust the process. Spray your face, let it dry. And once it dries down, then go in with your primer. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer, favoritest primer of them all. I know, I just realized that I'm broadcasting live from the bathroom. And that's it. Your face is ready for foundation. So for foundation, I am using the foundation that I've been using this whole entire time. I am using the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation. So while I'm doing my makeup, I'll also be sharing some interesting facts about pulmonary hypertension. Now, pulmonary hypertension is considered a rare disease. It affects people of all, race, all races, all ages. Um, there's many different causes for pulmonary hypertension. Unfortunately, there is no cure. You can get a lung transplant, but to me at least, I don't consider that a cure because you're swapping out one set of problems for another set. Because like lung transplants are like hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Hardcore. 50% of all people who receive lung transplants die within the first five years. So like I said, hardcore. I'm using this Mary Kay blending brush. Hopefully you can see that. But I'm just gonna go in, use this brush and just blend everything out. You know what I've realized? That I am like so incredibly pale. Now, I know all of my fair-skinned friends watching are like, pale, you're not pale, you're brown. True. Um, but if I could compare what I looked like before I went into permanent quarantine for 2020, um, you'll be like, oh yeah, girl, you're pale. Maybe I could put a picture in. I'll pop a picture in. Yeah, you see that? She's bronzed. She's glowing. This is pale. Um, this is Casper the ghost's favorite chocolatey best friend. <laughs> okay, so I think that looks pretty satisfactory. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and conceal everything. And I'm going to use this LA Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn. I am just going to paint some on in the places like I feel it needs it. I use my already damp beauty blender. Make sure that I squeeze off any extra water. And I'm just gonna blend all of this out. 
So did you know that it usually takes somebody two, two years to get diagnosed, two to four, to get diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension? And part of the reason for that is that the symptoms for pulmonary hypertension look like a lot of symptoms for a lot of other things. So some of the most common uh, symptoms for pulmonary hypertension is shortness of breath, fatigue, heart palpitations, um, what else? Uh, swelling in your ankles, you might feel your heart racing, you might have dizzy spells, uh, episodes of syncope, or um, what is the passing out, that syncope is passing out. So those symptoms do sound like a lot of things. I know a lot of people get diagnosed with asthma. They get diagnosed with being, they're just out of shape, but it actually isn't. So the there's also like an animal that is a symbol for pulmonary hypertension, and it's a zebra. Because when you hear a zebra walks, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a zebra and a horse. But when you actually look at a zebra and a horse, they look very different. So um, that's why the zebra represents us because it sound we may sound like a horse, but we're definitely not horses. So now I'm going to highlight my face and I'm going to use this uh, like Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. And I'm just gonna highlight, I guess. So I'm gonna go in again and use the same beauty blender and blend everything out. And I like to blend out everything in the center of my face first and then let this kind of dry down and then blend that out later. So let's get into that. Everybody experiences pulmonary hypertension differently. Like we might have the same um, symptoms, but our everyday experience is going to be very different. So for me, um, like for example, there are people who have pulmonary hypertension, and you'll see that their fingertips are blue, their lips might be a little purple. It has a cyanotic, that's what that's called, um, presentation in them, but that's just not a symptom that I experience. I've said it once, I've said it like a million times. Um, I've had pulmonary, <laughs> I've had pulmonary hypertension for the vast majority of my life at this point. So for me, um, this being like living with chronic fatigue, having shortness of breath has always been a part of my life. This is normal to me. And I think what happened or what evolved out of me being that way is that as a youngin and growing up, I, um, I think the term for it is self-limit. So, you know, I knew how hard I could push myself so that I wouldn't be passing out because I passing out is one of my symptoms. Um, it's happened, it happened while I was a kid, but it hasn't happened to me as an adult because I really try hard not to push myself there. I don't just self-limit to keep myself um, from passing out. I also self-limit just so I can maximize the limited amount of energy that I have. So one example for that is that I am pretty notorious. <laughs> All of my friends and family know that I walk slow. And the reason why I walk slow is because that is how I manage my energy. It can be really isolating knowing that you're the only person in your family and your group of friends um, that is experiencing this, um, for lack of better words, this very sucky disease. Um, but I am really grateful for the internet. I, only, I was one of those people who was like, you can't make real friends on the internet. Um, but I've actually made like 
So I'm really nice friends who have pulmonary hypertension on the internet and it's been a truly like enlightening feeling to be able to to vent to them about something that happens and they're like girl i get it so i'm gonna go back in with my setting powder and i'm just gonna set that under eye highlight i've said this once and i said it again i do not bake anymore just because like Baking, I just had way too many pictures with flashback in it, and I'm just like, yo, you messed up. Like, I was looking hella cute, and now I have flashback, and I can't post these pictures. <laughs> so I don't really bake anymore. Next step is I'm going to go in with this Mary Kay eye primer, and I'm just going to gently tap that on my eyelids and just kind of... Wipe that on. The goals with a lot of these medications for pulmonary hypertension, from my understanding, is it is to take the progression and take it from like a run to a crawl, like slow the progression way, 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 way down. Or sometimes the therapy, the right combination of therapies can stop progression, right? So that doesn't mean that you're cured. That doesn't mean you're gonna go back to quote unquote normal or before you got pulmonary hypertension. <clears throat> it just means that you're gonna stop right where you are right now. Um, so for me personally, that's always been my goal has just been to be like, stop where I am right now. The last time I had a right heart catheterization was last year and um, everything was the same. My numbers were good and stable. Heart looked great, wasn't enlarged or anything. So that's all good news, you know? In the world of pulmonary hypertension, especially for us patients, like sometimes like no news, like no changes, is like really good news. <laughs> but um, there was a point in time where being diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension was a death sentence. And usually people only have like, two to four years to live after being diagnosed. But with the invention of these new therapies, um, it's really been able to make a huge difference in people's life and not only in the quality of their life, but the longevity of their life. Um, so that's something that definitely keeps me hopeful, keeps me positive, but we still need a cure. You know what I'm saying? Like these pills are great, but we still need a cure. So that's why I'm gonna have links down below for you to check out to learn more about pulmonary hypertension. I'm using this Lorac uh, Pro Palette and I'm using Espresso to fill in my brows. This was actually my first like designer brand eyeshadow palette that I got. I got it in Texas. <laughs> at an Ulta, which was also the first Ulta I ever went to. So that's it. I've said this once and I'll say it again. Do they look like twins? No. Do they look like sisters? No. But they related. They're probably like cousins. First cousins. Now we've got our frame ready. We're going to get into this eyeshadow look. I'm going to be using this Elsa Frozen 2 palette from ColourPop and I'm using it because it has this really pretty blue eyeshadow in it and I think out of these colors I could come up with something that probably won't be periwinkle to be exact but it'll be close you know you'll be picking up the vibe that I am putting down. I am going to go in with this shade Fire right here and I'm just gonna toss that in my transition. <laughs> I'm just gonna toss that in my crease as a kind of like, sort of like transition shade. I don't want to get crazy with it. I just want it to be just like literally just start, just the base. Maybe it'll add some dimension. God, won't these people let me be great? I'll be right back. And we're back. So next one, I'm going to be really bold. 
but trust me, I think this is gonna come out nice. So I'm going to go in with, um, I forgot how to talk all of it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm just gonna put it kind of over top of the lighter color that I did. Oh, fallout child. I'm just gonna kind of tap it on the outer corner and then just blend out. Um, I've made a huge mistake and I'm going to take all of this off and start off fresh because <laughs> this is scary right now. So yeah, hold on. So I am back. I decided to just go ahead and redo everything from my eyebrows down because that was looking, shall we say, scary. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and restart. So I'm going to go back in with that color fire and I'm going to make that my transition shade. So next I'm going to go back in to Spine Drift, which is a burgundy color. And I'm just going to deepen the crease ever so lightly. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the color Water, which is this lovely blue color. I'm gonna pat that all on my lid. So that is it for the eyes. That is all that I'm doing. Um, like I said, is it Prairie Winkle exactly? No, but if you squint your eyes, I think it gives off the essence of Prairie Winkle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply eyeliner. Now I am using the Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner because I will be using the Kiss Magnetic eyelashes. Yes, I can speak English. I promise I can. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so eyeliner's on. We're letting that dry. Now I'm just going to put on some mascara. And I am using the Mary Kay. It's upside down. Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. For contour, I am using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. Now be warned, contouring is not my strong suit. Then for blush, I am using this Tiana um, Kiss and a Frog blush from ColourPop. Okay, and then for highlight, we're gonna be bold. And we are using this Meg Big Tough Girl by ColourPop Lavender Highlight. I'm just gonna highlight till the spirit tells me that that's enough. Is that not super pretty? Then I'm gonna take the opposite end of my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner of my eyeball. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this and just tap it kind of on top of where the blue is, and then I'm gonna sweep some underneath my brow. So you just glow freaking lavender, my guy, or periwinkle. I know it would be considered lavender any other day, but today we gonna call it periwinkle. For lips, I am going with the, what is this? Black Radiance, Perfect Tone Lip Sculptor in the shade Goddess. And it's like a chocolatey brown nude. It's perfect for all the brown skin girls out there. Actually, they had a whole line of these nudes. And if you are melanated, highly recommend you go out to your local drugstore, buy every single one of them. I did. So I'm gonna top it off with this Beauty and the Beast Low Rock 
lip gloss in the shade Believe. Funny. Using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. We're gonna set it and forget it. Let me tell you something. Let me give you an insider trick, okay? Start learning how to put on some lashes because let me tell you, eyelashes, when you put on these uh, lashes, it will take a eyeshadow look, a makeup look that is otherwise mediocre and like take it to that next level. So there's one more thing that I wanna do before this look is totally complete. So hold on. So this is me completing my look. This is actually a wig that I got to wear to the pulmonary hypertension conference. That was supposed to happen this year, but was canceled due to COVID. Um, don't come for me. I know like the lace is showing. Honestly, my head is way too big for this wig. So I probably wasn't gonna wear it anyway, but it just seemed fitting with the whole periwinkle lavender vibe. Um, so that is it. For this video and for this tutorial um thank you so much for staying through to the end and thank you so much for supporting all of my like pulmonary hypertension awareness content this much i truly appreciate it don't forget to check out the links in the description box below if you would like to learn more about pulmonary hypertension and uh that is it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I will see you in my next one. Bye!